Good evening, guys. Everyone's probably waiting for my report about this magnitude 4.1 earthquake that occurred at about 1.24 p.m. this afternoon near Shattuck, Oklahoma. Seismologists in Texas had it as high as a magnitude 4.6, only 2 kilometers in depth. That might explain how it was felt all the way to Texas and even Kansas. USGS had the intensity level of 5. Now intensity level 5 means that it's going to be nearly felt by everyone. If you were sleeping, you would have been awoken. Some dishes, windows um, are broken, cracked plaster. You might look for cracks in your home and your foundation. Unstable objects overturned. Disturbance of trees. Telephone poles and other tall objects, sometimes notice pendulum clocks may have stopped ticking. The shaking would have lasted at least, if not more, two to five seconds. Here is the signature of that earthquake as it came in at Depew, Oklahoma, and there's been two more recently that USGS is not reporting. This is from Dripping Spring State Park there in Oklahoma. Looks like we got a small one before this earthquake. Dust in Oklahoma shows that other earthquake that very well could have been a foreshock. As you know, any earthquake has a 20% chance of a foreshock, of being a foreshock for a larger earthquake. And we got two more also showing that USGS is not reporting on Dustin, Oklahoma monitor. Stingler, Oklahoma shows an earthquake prior to this magnitude 4.1 or was it a 4.6? It also shows the other earthquake right there, one other earthquake. I believe this is Teshney, Oklahoma. You can see that foreshock. Looks like we had some activity prior to that, a very small one. And this is that uh, 4.1 or 4.6 earthquake. The other ones only this shows up right here. This was an oblique strike slip earthquake where you got one fault zone which rises up. Um, I can't find any information about the distance the fault line may have ruptured. There may or may not be any evidence of the fault fracture on the surface of the earth. And using Google Earth, um, this is an area where they have a lot of fracking, a lot of fracking. It is also along or close to where a fault line is at. Uh, rivers often follow fault lines. Over here we have an oil platform and then there's another one, uh, where is it? Up over here. Yeah, lots of things, lots of um, water disposals, but also let me bring this out for you. Drawn out in red here is the Anadarko Basin. This is part of the Wichita Armarillo uplift uh, along the uh, east is the Newman uplift. On the north is the central Kansas uplift and the west the Los Aminas arch. So let me bring that out a little bit farther. Over here in yellow is the Nema Ridge, and that's part of um, the Mid-Continent Rift. And I've talked a lot about these earthquakes that we've been having lately. Yep. No damage so far has been reported, but I am sure there is damage from this earthquake. Um, I really doubt that the local companies local newspapers, I should say, would even talk about um, the cause of these earthquakes, lubricating these fault lines. Yeah, see all the different little platforms for all the oil and gas? Look at all that. People definitely need to check their water and gas lines. And like I said, any earthquake has a 20% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. And a magnitude 5 is not unheard of, or a magnitude larger than a 5. In 1914 and 1925, there was two earthquakes. 
of an intensity level of 6. So guys, did you feel this earthquake? If so, um, what did you notice before and afterwards and did you have damage? Please put that information down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Always be prepared for a disaster. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you all.